Hey, this is Presh Talwalker. Start with a square whose side length is equal to one unit. Construct four congruent right triangles as shown, where each right triangle's hypotenuse is a side of the square, and the entire large square is divided into these four triangles plus a square in the center. Inside of each triangle, inscribe a circle. Also inscribe a circle in the square in the center. Now if these five circles are equal to each other, what is the radius of each circle equal to? I thank Mikkel from Norway and Surov for the suggestion. This problem was inspired by a Japanese Sangaku, which were mathematical problems and theorems that were offered in temples in Japan during the Edo period. They were engraved on wood. They were very beautiful. Pause the video if you'd like to give this problem a try. And when you're ready, keep watching to learn how to solve this problem. There are many, many ways to solve this problem. And for the purposes of this video, I'm just going to present one solution. But I'm sure people will come up with other ways to solve the problem. Please share them in the comments. So here's one way to solve it. Let's say that the length of this tangent is equal to a. Now if we take the corresponding triangle in the bottom side of the square, this tangent will also have the same length, so it will be a length equal to a. Now if we construct this tangent, the two tangents will have the same length, so this length will also be equal to a. Now we know the square in the center has a circle with the radius that's equal to r. So the diameter of the circle will be 2r, and that will be the side length of the square. So we know that half of the length of the square will be equal to r. Now, by the principle of equal tangents, this length over here will also be equal to r. If we extend the side of the square, this will also be equal to r. Now we can see in this bottom triangle, the small side has a side length that's equal to a plus r. So if we take the triangle on the left side of the square, the small side will also have a length that's equal to a plus r. So this length will be equal to a plus r minus a, so this will be equal to r. Now, we have one more thing to consider. Let's take a look at the length of this tangent it will exactly be the same length as this tangent. So the upper tangent has a length a plus 2r, so this length will be a plus 2r. So now we know the length of all the sides of this triangle. So let's just focus on that. So let me just isolate this triangle and let me put in the side lengths. The short side is a plus r and the hypotenuse is 2a plus 2r because we have a plus 2r plus a. Now we can factor this as equal to 2 multiplied by a plus r. But we know a plus r is the side length of the short side. So we have a right triangle where the hypotenuse is twice the length of the short leg. So this must be a 30, 60, 90 right triangle. Now we know the remaining side is equal to a plus r plus r plus r, which is a plus 3r. Finally, the hypotenuse of this right triangle is exactly the side length of the square, so it will be equal to 1. So now let's just focus on this 30, 60, 90 right triangle. In a 30, 60, 90 right triangle, if the hypotenuse has a length equal to 1, the shorter leg is equal to 1 half, and the longer leg is equal to root 3 over 2. So in this triangle, the shorter leg is equal to a plus r, so we have a plus r is equal to 1 half. Then the longer leg is equal to a plus 3r, so that's equal to root 3 over 2. So now, if we subtract one equation from the other, we can eliminate the a variable, and this will give us that 2r is equal to root 3 minus 1 all over 2, dividing both sides by 2, gives that r is equal to root 3 minus 1 all over 4, which is approximately equal to 0.183. And that's the answer. Thanks for making us one of the best communities on YouTube. 
See you next episode of Mind Your Decisions, where we solve the world's problems one video at a time.